The Interstate 11 and Intermountain West Corridor study is a priority for the Nevada and Arizona Departments of Transportation, which have pooled their resources and are jointly managing this study. The two departments make up the core agency partners along with the Regional Transportation Commission of Southern Nevada, Maricopa Association of Governments, and the Federal Highway and Railroad Administrations. Once completed, the corridor could become a north-south, high-capacity, multimodal transportation route through the Intermountain West. It will play a vital role in connecting borders, linking economies, and generating prosperity. As Americans, we rely on the transportation network in our daily lives. It links communities and urban areas together and encourages cultural, social, and economic exchanges. As trade routes expand and technological advances continue to alter how we live our lives, our transportation infrastructure must evolve to play a larger role in generating economic prosperity. Because of the length and varying characteristics of the corridor, it has been divided into several segments. The congressionally designated corridor includes three sections between the Phoenix and Las Vegas metropolitan areas and underwent detailed corridor planning. Broad evaluation criteria were used for the Southern Arizona and Northern Nevada future connectivity corridors to determine potential extensions beyond the Phoenix and Las Vegas metropolitan areas. This project is envisioned to be a multimodal corridor pairing together highway, freight, or passenger rail and other major infrastructure components such as telecommunications, power and energy, or resources such as oil, natural gas, and water. The study was conducted in three phases. Phase one established the basis and vision for the project. Phase two results included the justification for the corridor and the foundation for how this corridor can improve economic prosperity. Phase three developed and evaluated corridor alternatives, the business case, and implementation requirements. In this presentation, we now explore the background, which provides an overview of the history of our transportation network and the need for new connections. Linking economies, which identifies the recommended corridors that connect major metropolitan areas and regional economic centers. Generating prosperity, which presents the economic value of the corridor, and next steps which emphasizes the need for continued collaboration to successfully move the I-11 and Intermountain West Corridor forward. Transportation corridors have historically played a vital role in connecting borders, linking economies, and generating prosperity. In the 1860s, the transcontinental railroads established cities, revolutionized economies, and generated tourism throughout the Intermountain West. In the 1950s, the interstate highway system built upon the railroad network, which further evolved America's economy. The interstate system was built to connect most cities with populations above 50,000. At the time, Las Vegas didn't meet that threshold, and so a connection between Phoenix and Las Vegas was not included in the interstate network. In the 1990s, Congress designated a series of high-priority corridors of national significance including the Canamex Corridor from the Mexican border in Nogales, Arizona, to the Canadian border. This designation was a critical step in addressing the lack of continuous north-south trade routes in the Intermountain West. In 2010, the Mike O'Callaghan-Pat Tillman Memorial Bridge over the Hoover Dam was completed, significantly improving the travel time between Phoenix and Las Vegas. Most recently, the federal transportation legislation moving ahead for progress in the 21st century, also known as MAP 21, was signed into law on July 6, 2012. It designated US 93 as Future Interstate 11, connecting Las Vegas and the vicinity of Phoenix. Shortly afterward, Arizona and Nevada's transportation departments formally began the I-11 and Intermountain West Corridor Study. The I-11 and Intermountain West Corridor will link millions of people and connect major economies throughout the region. Linking economies and population centers was one criteria in developing corridor alternatives. Evaluation criteria were developed to identify and screen corridor alternatives. 
The various options were evaluated using two levels of screening to establish a set of recommendations. Level 1 analysis applied to the entire corridor and evaluated a universe of alternatives. This first level assessed whether an alternative met the goals and objectives of the project. Level 1 alternatives within the congressionally designated corridor section that were shown to meet the goals and objectives were further advanced to Level 2 analysis. Level 2 used many of the same categories as those used for Level 1, but the screening process was more detailed and rigorous. This two-tiered process identified multiple corridor recommendations for more detailed planning and environmental analyses. The corridor recommendation for the southern portion would begin at Nogales, Arizona, and would connect to the Tucson and Phoenix metropolitan areas. Within the greater Phoenix area, between Casa Grande and Wickenburg, there are several feasible corridor alignments that will require a more detailed environmental analysis to determine a preferred alignment. From Wickenburg, the corridor will follow US-93 through Kingman, across the Mike O'Callaghan-Pat Tillman Memorial Bridge, and through the soon-to-be-constructed Boulder City Bypass to Las Vegas. Through Las Vegas, an advanced planning study will be needed to select a preferred route through the metropolitan area. Alternatives include expanding existing freeways or creating a new eastern corridor. The I-11 and Intermountain West Corridor is recommended to continue north along US-95 to connect the state's largest population centers in southern and northwestern Nevada before continuing north of Nevada via either US-395 or US-95. The US-93 Corridor continues to be important to the state of Nevada and could provide important multimodal connections. The multimodal analysis for this study determined that in some cases, Rail, highway, and other uses could share the same corridor. Through much of the Intermountain West, it could be more practical to build on the existing rail network. By adding new rail corridors in strategic locations to close north-south gaps. Closing these gaps in the transportation network with rail lines provides an alternative modal system to the proposed highway corridors. Other uses within the corridor, such as energy transmission and communications, are feasible through most of the alternatives and continue to be a consideration. This multimodal corridor will open up major economic opportunities. It is critical to the stability and prosperity of the people who live and work in the Intermountain West and has the potential to generate a significant return on investment by connecting regional economies to each other and to global markets, creating opportunities for integrated manufacturing and advancing the economic development plans of Arizona and Nevada. The Arizona Sun Corridor and the Las Vegas Megapolitan are both connected to Southern California with high capacity multimodal transportation corridors, but not to each other. I-11 will complete the transportation network needed to connect the Southwest Triangle and its economies to each other and to global markets. The Southwest Triangle is on a trajectory to becoming a leading U.S. economic region that maintains linkages to the world's fastest emerging economies in Asia and Latin America. The increased mobility of workers, business travelers, and goods between the cities enables greater collaboration and flexibility, leading to a more diverse and stable economy built on technology, innovation, and high-value manufacturing. Efficient transportation links with Mexico create significant opportunities for specialized manufacturing in the U.S. Supported by Mexican production, referred to as integrated manufacturing or production sharing. Many U.S. industries work with Mexican companies to manufacture goods, often transporting components across the border multiple times during production. The U.S. industries typically provide advanced manufacturing with high-tech jobs, while much of the assembly takes place in Mexico. To compete nationally and internationally, each state created economic development initiatives to diversify their economies. These initiatives target specific industry clusters such as advanced manufacturing, aerospace, aviation and defense, agriculture, healthcare, information and computer technology, renewable energy, and transportation and logistics. Favorable logistics and accessibility are keys to attracting major industries 
and thereby diversifying and strengthening the economies of Arizona and Nevada. A two-pronged approach was used to evaluate the potential return on this investment. Travel benefits and costs were quantified as part of a benefit cost analysis which compares the value of savings to travelers with the cost incurred in constructing and operating the project. The economic benefits were estimated using a macroeconomic analysis of various future scenarios. This potential $24 billion benefit to the region would generate approximately 240,000 jobs and when combined with up to $39 billion in travel benefits far outweighs the cost needed to construct the corridor. In order to make this a reality, it is paramount for transportation and economic development initiatives to partner and advance along the same path, reliant on each other for success. Before construction can begin, transportation projects must first follow a process of planning, environmental analysis, design, and right-of-way acquisition. Depending on available funding and complexities, this process could take years or decades and during this time, a wide range of partners, including the public, businesses, interest groups, and agencies at all levels of government, provide input into project and environmental decisions. Currently, the I-11 and Intermountain West Corridor is comprised of many different project segments at varying degrees of progress in the project development process. When funding becomes available, Environmental studies can be conducted in southern Arizona and in the Phoenix metropolitan area to identify a preferred corridor alignment. Between Wickenburg and Kingman, ADOT is in the process of completing the interim improvements needed along US-93 to make it a four-lane divided highway. And in Nevada, the portion known as the Boulder City Bypass is planned to be constructed as a full interstate highway by 2017. An advanced planning study will be needed in the Las Vegas metropolitan area to evaluate and identify the most feasible corridor while in northern Nevada a corridor study will be needed. While funding for much of the corridor has not yet been identified, potential financing that can be used for implementation of each corridor segment will likely differ and should continue to be explored, including emerging funding sources. Upon completion of this study, partners from the public and private sectors and non-governmental organizations will be called upon to continue to advance the modes and uses for the corridor. These partnerships will be required to achieve successful and efficient implementation of the I-11 and Intermountain West Corridor.